Let's determine if each of these seven matrices is elementary or not. Here's the definition if you need to review. I'll leave a link in the description to my lesson going over elementary matrices in detail. We say that a matrix is elementary if it can be obtained from the identity matrix by performing a single elementary row operation, so either swapping two rows, multiplying one row by a constant, or adding a multiple of one row to another. So let's take a look and determine if each one is elementary or not, beginning with this 2x2 two two matrix A. Is it elementary? Well, can it be obtained from the identity matrix by performing a single row operation? And in this case, the answer is yes. It's pretty easy to see that the way we get this matrix from the identity is by adding negative two times row one to row two. That will change this zero to a negative two as desired. So the answer for A is yes, it is is elementary. So I'll just put a check. On to matrix B, is this matrix elementary? Yes, this one is as well. All that happened is the rows were swapped in the identity matrix. Row one and row two were swapped. That's one elementary row operation. So this is an elementary matrix. Now, what about letter C? The first entry in row one is zero not one. So we know that a swapping must have taken place, rows one and two must have been swapped, but also the second entry in row one is not one either. So this means that it must have been multiplied by something, which is a second row operation. Of course, it was multiplied by negative three. Point is, there were two elementary row operations done to the identity to get to this matrix. Rows one and two were swapped, and then row one was multiplied by negative three. Since this matrix could not be obtained from the identity by performing a single row operation, it is not elementary. So I will put a red X here, not elementary. On to matrix D. Matrix D is clearly not elementary because it doesn't even have the right dimensions. It's not square. The identity matrix is a square matrix, so certainly every elementary matrix also has to be square. This is not square, so it's not elementary. On to matrix E. This is an elementary matrix. We could obtain this matrix from the identity by just multiplying the first row by pi. That would produce this row one. So yes, this one is elementary. It's just a multiplication by pi in the first row. Now what about matrix F? We can see the change is right here. Column three, row two, we have a negative three where in the identity matrix we would have a zero. And we could have got this by a single row operation. All that needs to be done is adding three or negative three copies of row three to row two. Adding negative three copies of row three to row two will produce that negative three, and the other two entries would be unchanged. So yes, this is an elementary matrix. Finally, matrix G, this one is not elementary. We can see that rows one and three must have been swapped, but also row one, the new row one, was multiplied by negative one. Because we don't have positive one here, we have negative one. So two row operations must have taken place. The rows were swapped, and then this first row was multiplied by negative one. Thus, this is not an elementary matrix because it could not be obtained from the identity by performing a single row operation. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Linear Algebra course and Linear Algebra Exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching. Uh, uh, I'm the mathematical menace, the machinations of mankind, two calculators at the same time, hand signs and abacus, finger count and calculus. I'm the V to the T, my parameter, the rapidest. Happens like this, my lectures, the most prominent, dominant. Call me the Morgan, I get the compliments. The union in together like any time that we intersect, cause my opponents know they need.